to my channel. It is time for Food and Wine Festival. The festival officially started two days ago, but I wasn't in town. I'm here now. I have my Sip and Savor Pass. Super awesome. I believe it was $50 for Magic Key holders with the discount. I had Serena pick it up for me, so I actually don't know how much it is, but I will make sure I figure that out for you guys. Um, it is completely chaotic here at DCA. Lines are insane for ordering, pickup, merch. It's so crazy packed. I don't know how we're gonna get it done today. We're gonna try our best, but I'm here by myself right now until the girls get here, so let's get started. All right, so I found the map. Um, I cannot find a food tasting booklet. Um, the little booth that they had them at was all gone. So I've kind of seen here and there what people have tried and what's available. So that's gonna be my first struggle. Second struggle is I found a table and there's an umbrella, but I don't have any food. I don't want to walk away to go order and then lose the table, which obviously is going to happen. So, yeah, struggling today. But for the Sip and Saber Pass, can we just talk about, like, how sick this artwork is? I've heard we're getting this as a magnet. I'm not sure when. I really hope that happens. But, like, this is sick. And they actually made the Magic Key Holder way better than they did Lunar New Year. But, yeah, so far this is Lunar New Year on steroids. Like the booklet I'm just gonna go based off the sip and saver pass I know there's others I just like the booklet you can see the little pictures but yeah let's get started so the best tip that anyone could ever give when it comes to any food and wine lunar new year festival holiday anything is order everything at one booth doesn't matter which one pick the one booth order everything that you want from the other booths keep your receipt and go pick it up as you go that way you're not waiting in the order line again and again and again so I ordered everything from Puck -a Doodle Moo waited like 20 minutes to pick up my food and they're out of wings so I also got the French onion slider so that's what we're gonna start with um, I'm just annoyed that I'm gonna have to wait in that line again to go get the wings later I need to show you guys the line for the garlic mac and cheese it's one of the best things at the festival every year the line literally on steroids worse than the noodles one from Lunar New Year but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the slider. I just recently started getting more into onions, so this is gonna be interesting. I kinda wanna do the side with all that sauce right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is really freaking good. I was really hesitant about getting this, Oh my god. Five out of five. So the garlic kiss booth starts way over there. And the line goes all the way down the pier like area. And then there's entertainment. Look at that line. Insane. Next booth that we are trying from is from the Delish booth. So these are the black and tan beef potato puffs. They're tater tots with like beef on it. So let's see how this goes. The tater tot seems a little bit overcooked. It's a little like too crunchy for a tater tot. The beef is all right. I'm someone that likes a lot of sauce for something like this, so I think like a drizzle of like a barbecue or something would have been really good. But I get 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, it's all right. I'd get it again. Three freaking like booth things later, I finally found the tasting passport. Someone explained to me why the LA booth is way over by Monsters Inc. when every other booth is over by like Mermaid and the Pier area. What the heck? Who did that? So the back of the line for LA style starts all the way over by the like back lot Avengers shop. Booth is way over there. This is insane. All right, I decided to get a drink. I wasn't planning on it, but LA Style had a sake melon. So we got that, and then I also got the barbecue pork belly and like macaroni salad. So let's go ahead and try it. I don't like that. I'm very picky with my alcohol. I don't like that. Up next. 
again a barbecue pork belly, which I usually love, so I'm praying this is good. There's a lot of fat on it, which I don't like. I do like macaroni salad though. So I'm a little iffy about how I want to rate this. Um, it's a little cold. I mean, I haven't, I got it and it took me a minute to eat it, so I'm not gonna blame it on that, but there's like a lot of fat on the meat. Okay, Elisa is trying the IPA sausage dog. I'm full, but she's gonna try it. Go ahead. It's gonna be a big bite. <laughs> I can't wait, you're gonna have to redo this. Take two. God damn! <laughs> the cheese is cold, but it's good. Okay, is it cold? Do you think it came like that or is because we're standing out here? Maybe because we're standing out here. Okay, but how's the sausage? How's, what is it? It oh. looks more like a pretzel type pretzel of bun. bun. It's a good, it's a good sauce. It's not spicy. What out of five? Four. Four out of five? Okay. Okay, up next we're trying... That has nothing <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are trying. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get wet, bro. We're struggling over here. The ranch wings, that's obviously wings. And then those ones are the chicharron crusted fried artichoke dip featuring casica cheese. That's how you say it? Casica? Right? Casica. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Up first are wings, so cheers. <laughs> Those are so the bomb, huh? I don't taste the ranch that much. It's the seasoning. It tastes like regular uh, wings. Obviously, it's a seasoning, but like when I ask for lemon pepper, I taste lemon pepper. I don't taste that much ranch. Thumbs down. Yeah. Give me like a three and a half. I taste the buffalo more. Yeah, three and a half. Up next is the artichoke. What is it? Chicharron fried artichoke dip, but it looks like there's beans in there, and I don't eat that. So, Lisa, this one's all you. No massage. Did you smell it first? No. How many out of five? Bro. What's your? Like a one? You can give it a negative if you want. Or a zero. It's just not me. It's just not my. It, it's just good. If you like that kind of thing. <laughs> If you like artichoke dip, which we love artichoke dip. That's not it. I think it's a song. Okay. <laughs> Like a bar. 
five. I like it. I think I'd give it a five out of five if I actually like this dessert, but I'm like a cake person. And then I'm not a big chocolate person. Yeah. Four out of five. Hey friends, so I totally forgot to film an outro um, for Food and Wine Festival, so here I am finishing my video in my car. I apologize for that. After we had tried all the food, we ended up going to Soren over California and then ran over to Disneyland for fireworks. Completely slipped my mind to <laughs> record the end of the video. I'm so sorry about that. I'm for sure going to have to film a part two. There was so much that I missed. Hitting everything in one day is like nearly impossible okay so i did most of the booths again i'm really upset that i didn't get the mac and cheese i'm like so mad at myself because mac and cheese is my food um they did have a couple things at some of the restaurants that i didn't get to try either like the pepperoni slider at smoke jumpers i never made it over to the beer garden i know different people come out and sing so i did get to see the like one little group but they do cooking demonstrations over by monsters inc which i didn't get to see i only saw chef goofy for like two seconds and then in front of Hyperion they do like another little show thing so there was still a ton that I missed I need to do merch as well when I went to go film it they were out of the ears and then I just forgot to film everything else other than this horrible outro in my car because I completely forgot thank you guys so much for following along if you get a chance you guys should definitely go do food and wine festival at DCA it runs until April 26 sip and savor pass totally worth it I'm going to make a part two, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the Disney Pixie, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.